Morning Pinners, how are we? That's your new name by the way from now on. Anyone who's subscribed to Pin and watches it, you're now known as a Pinner. Don't ask me why, that's that. Uh, I've come to the NEC again today to the Motorhome and Caravan Show because if you don't ask, you don't get. So I'm going to have a look about, see what's interesting for you guys, try and film some stuff and see if I can get hooked up for 2019. Even got my shirt on, sort of. Sort of shirt. Oh, another thing I've been thinking about as well, a lot of the races, I get to see quite a few of the subscribers and they always come up and say hello. But I realised yesterday, you never actually get on the camera. So if you're a subscriber and you see me anywhere about with my camera and you want to get onto any vlog I'm doing, just let me know and I'm happy to get you on because it's all about you guys. Let's get into the NEC and see what they've got on offer. kind of strange about this coming from the world of mountain biking is that it's a world I know nothing about so I think the first thing is just have a wander about There's so many of these big posh motorhomes it's knowing like which one to even look in I think I'm just gonna have a look round and then uh, choose my victims okay so this is the first thing that's caught my eye I know it's not a motorhome but look at it Lamborghini four-wheel drive and look what it's towing it's only an Airstream look at that bad boy I don't know much about these things but I know they're worth an absolute fortune I'm sure they're like over a hundred grand for one of these wow wow to that motor so one of the things I'm thinking here being realistic I mean obviously it'd be awesome to have a motor home but one of the things I think about would be nice Really like some sort of roof tent and then some kind of awning and this thule or thule however you say it stuff this is right up the street of a lot of mountain bikes obviously they've got the um, the bike racks as well I'm just looking at that and thinking that would look nice on the side of the van okay so I've been told what it's called it's actually called thule which I never knew that's the proper pronunciation so this is their vehicle side of awning comes in at 1700 quid these front sort of panels these actually come undone and they'll store in the vehicle and then the main bit will it all folds up and it'll go tuck in there to the side of the vehicle so the hat's off already sweating and it's always warm in these dues so this area seems to be like the um, awning area so we'll go check a couple more out and then move on see what else we got maybe uh, trailer tents okay so we've got quite a few of these like um, sort of awning type things here and I don't know they all look a bit too much mither to me I want something that you can literally rock up somewhere and just press a button pull something out and it's done that brings us on to our next thing when I've actually spoken to these guys uh, a couple of years ago this is the Opus trailer tent now this is the absolute Rolls Royce of trailer tents these things go up to like 20 grand so let's go and have a look at them okay this is the Opus Air this is all air operated they say you can sort of put this thing up in about five minutes just press a button and it all unfolds and then it looks it looks super cool but you are paying serious premium for these things um, so there's one that's opened up, that's, I don't know if that's the air one, but um, these things are like pure luxury on the back of your van and the difference with these and a caravan obviously is the storage, you know they're so easy to store somewhere and they're so small to tow and nice and lightweight, you haven't got that air restriction of a caravan look how posh it is inside of course they had to have the uh, mountain bikes on the top they always put crap mountain bikes on them though don't they proper cheap ass couple of diamond backs there 
but this thing is, they, they do ooze quality, look at that. Proper off-road tyres. Mm. Nice. So here's their bigger one, and that's actually got an awning on the outside that folds out, so let's go and have a look in. You've got this awning, and then inside it you've got like a kid's bedroom there. Kid's bedroom there. And then inside here, oh my god, it's got like full on like screen, like a projector screen. You've got the little kitchen, just turn the light up a bit. This lovely arched seating arrangement and a big double bed. And this all folds out from one of those little trailers. Amazing. These little micro caravans are cool. I love the look of them and I love the idea of them. But, first of all, I've got the missus and two kids, so it'd be no good to me. And they, they start at 10 grand. 10 grand, look how tiny they are. You could buy a second hand sort of race truck for that. This has just caught my eye. We're into the motorhome area now. This is a nice big Merc Sprinter that's been done. And the reason it's caught my eye, first of all I noticed that it's got a garage, which is what we all want in a mountain bike world. But the main reason, it's called the DL. And the DL means Dougie Lampkin, and Dougie Lampkin was like ex-World Trials. I've actually raced with Dougie back in the days when I was doing the uh, motorbike Enduros. Some of the events like a tough one. So let's go and see what this has to offer. So we've got the reversible seats here. Nice big side step in. You know, this is, I guess, kind of a simple conversion really, but it's really nice. All this stuff blows me away, but it's always a bit weird. I don't know much about it. Seems like a real nice conversion. You've got your bog there, hopefully with a hot shower. And then the big step up to that nice double bed. Yeah, pretty cosy in there, I reckon. Okay, so it wouldn't be a motorhome show edit without featuring a Volkswagen. So we've got a T6 here. Little conversion. This is a call cool 41,999. Might just buy one tomorrow. <laughs> so, that, what do you get for that money? Beautiful interior. Flip round seats. Anyone who is into motorhomes, they'll be listening to this thinking, bloke hasn't got a clue. Yep, yeah, and I haven't. But it looks nice. Lovely bespoke leather furni furniture, leather seats in there. The only thing I don't like about these things though, I hate the idea of having your bikes on the back, which is like an advert for some dodgy bastard to follow you home. For me, it's got to be something you can put your bikes in or something you tow behind. These sort of size Fiat's always seem like a better value deal to me. Like you've got that Volkswagen, it was like 44 grand and this is 47, but well, look how much more room you got in it. Depends whether you're a bit of a sucker and you fall for that Volkswagen badge thing. I personally don't. See, this one's got storage under the back. You could like put bikes in there if you took the wheels out. And then you've got the double bed above it. And then all your chisel in front of there. We got the most sort of mountain bikeish mountain bike so far. Got a cube stereo on top of. Ah, I know what this is. This is Rolling Homes. This is from Shrewsbury. So it's on top of a T6. We better go and say hello to this lot. Too many people in the way. Got to admit, I'm not a Volkswagen fan, but that does look nice. Nice Volkswagen Crafter here, a cool 67 grand. One thing I've noticed that if you want to go down the Volkswagen or anything German, God, you have to pay for it. Wow, but this is, look at this. This is more like it. So you've got the two swivel seats, you've got these lovely 
super plush back seats. Obviously that turns into a bed. And then there's real nice units. All things that open up and do stuff. A proper shower. Yeah, that'd do, wouldn't it? Tell you what, this couldn't be any different to a bike show. When you look at it, it's like um, the people here, a lot more money, a lot older. There's a lot of uh, little mobility scooters knocking about. It's quite funny. But yeah, it's. Uh, I feel like I'm in a world that I know nothing about. Great to see though, so much money. I come across this big old Hymer now. And uh, in the video, it's got to have uh, weird mountain bikers, cross country riders. They've obviously got some sort of hookup going on. So they are generating their marketing towards the more off roady folk, I guess. This is a proper big bad boy coming in at uh, 86 grand. Should we have a look round it? Okay, what have we got in here? Beautiful. So it's on a Mercedes body. I think that's what you meant to say. This beautiful big chair here. Sink, oven, massive bed at the back. Wow. This stuff is absolutely blowing me away and uh, making me feel very poor. <laughs> Okay, so let's go and have a look into the world of the Super Bling. This beast from, I think it's called Niesman Bischoff, is a cool 228 grand. In the back we have a garage here that has probably got about nearly the same storage as my van on its own. Stepping into this thing, wow. Absolutely massive. Got like a proper shower that I'd be proud to have at my own house. Look at that bad boy. I don't even know what you got in here. That's the toilet. Bed here you could probably fit the entire family in. Oh my god. This thing's unbelievable. I'd probably be scared to drive this. And then looking up the front here. Wow. <laughs> Just light up a bit. <laughs> Look at those beautiful, comfy brown leather seats. A few business cards exchanged, you never know. And uh, looking at other names that I recognise over here is Hobby. Go and see how many gypsies there's over at the Hobby. They love the Hobby caravan, you know. Oh, it's very nice. I'd have to keep the plastic on the seats, obviously, you know. So I've caught up with fellow YouTuber here, Ali Clarkson. And uh, how's it going, mate? You all right? Yeah, there's a lot going on? You're a bit bigger than me. I thought I was as tall as you. Hello? So we're over at the Sunlight Store, store stand, having a look at these beautiful motorhomes. Ali's uh, hooked up with these. Uh, what have you got to say about them, dude? No? No? Not a lot to say about that? Do you like my new hat? This is giving me a hat. Well, it was lovely to speak to you, Ali. And, uh, God, it looks so real. So I think this is a similar one to the one that he's rocking, is Ali Clarkson. Um, and just had a fantastic discussion with a German lady who was talking about the possibility of a hookup for 2019. Well, that could be super exciting. Should you have a look inside? I can really imagine this being a useful tool at the races and at the events and going out doing the adventure stuff. Imagine being at the decent races and getting other top riders in here to interview them and we could talk about the products in here. There's lots of stuff you could do with this motorhome. Fingers crossed. Quite interesting to see who some of these guys do hook up with. I mean, there's one here called Auto Trail and I've checked the bike out, you can see it behind me. British superbike rider, Christian Idden. 
actually used to race with him and his dad back in the day, his dad Paul Lydon, he was one of the top downhillers from the 90s and used to sponsor a mate of mine. And this is Christian Lydon's bike. I kind of like all this kind of stuff here, these clip-on awnings for vans. But I do find really, I think they're probably a bit too much mither if you go to an event and you spend the heart of the weekend racing and you're knackered, the last thing you want to be doing is faffing about putting one of these things away. Motorhomes is where it's at, I think. So what do you reckon to these little beasties from, I think you say, Knaus, Knaus? Like a teardrop shape. They're not cheap, but they're like little TARDISes. So this is their bigger one, teardrop style. You step inside, it's definitely like a TARDIS. You've got your little seat here, seating for like three or four. And then turn around, sink, stove, cupboards, more cupboards, big double bed. And then uh, we've got in here, toilet, little shower, fantastic. It's really compact and bijou, Mostyn, but uh, these are really cool. Step into this little one here. Now, I haven't looked in here yet. Same again. You've got your facilities there. Cupboard here, I don't know what's in here, let's have a look. Storage, so this one. Ah, the difference with this one being littler is it hasn't got any other shower facilities, etc. It's proper small. Cool though. Here we have a Swift Contiki 635 and the reason this has grabbed my attention is the back of it has this sliding bike rack. Well cool. Get two bikes on it by the looks of things and it just Pulls right out like that. That is awesome. Really impressive. It looks like the uh, it's made by Toule. What a great bit of kit. Okay, so this is a little caravan called an Ereba. Ow. In my head. There we go. It's pretty posh, really posh actually. For you know the way it's fitted out, it's really nice. Got your little shower and stuff in there, and the bog. And then at the back here, you got seating, which I'm guessing all turns into beds. And then the pop top is here. And let's have another look at this from outside. There it is, looks kind of like a lot of other caravans, slightly different, you've got the pop top looks unusual, funky shape, but look at this. It's 33 grand. So I'm feeling a bit caravan and motorhomed out right now. I think I've seen enough, got some great leads. Uh, was a bit like a fish out of water, but it's been a really interesting thing to look at. Hopefully you like this vlog, keep it pinned.